Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to share an internet connection using uh, internet connection sharing in Windows 7 uh, to several machines at once. It's a little known that you can actually do that and you can use the Windows 7 uh, internet connection sharing as a, as a sort of router. Um, it, as you can see here in my configuration, I have a laptop with wireless connected to a wireless router that's connected to the internet. And then I have a, a LAN cable going from it to a switch. It's a 100,000 uh, gigabit uh, auto switch. Uh, show you, I'll put a description, uh, sorry, I'll put a link on the description for this uh, switch. And uh, it's like $25 on Amazon. Uh, and then it's connected from there to several computers uh, using LAN cables. So it's, it's a wired network, uh, which makes it a little bit more secure between the computers. Uh, but... Uh, it's got a wireless connection to the internet and it shares all that to all those computers. So first thing you need to do is enable internet connection sharing. So go down to your bottom right and uh, go to your, your network icon if you have one. And then open up network and sharing center. Then you're going to go to change adapter settings. And as you can see I have a wireless connection which I'm going to share and a local area connection which is cur currently unplugged but I'll, I'll show you that how those are set up primarily before the sharing is, is uh, enabled. So right click the uh, local area connection and then choose properties and then go to uh, internet protocol version 4 TCP IP v4 properties and you'll see that it's all set to obtain address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically which is the standard uh, you know or configuration it should be in now this will change after we enable the sharing now go to wireless and you'll see properties right click it properties and TCP IP and you'll see that it's all set to automatic as well okay now I'm assuming that you already have an uh, internet uh, wireless internet connection to your router and that you set that wireless connection up yourself. This is not uh, dealing with setting up a wireless connection. You, I'm assuming you have one already. So you take the wireless connection that you already have uh, and then you're going to share it out to your LAN or uh, network cable. So uh, right click the properties on wireless network connections and you'll see that there's a sharing tab at the top. You gotta go to that, click on that. Then click on allow other network users connect to connect through this computer's internet connection. Uh, you can also click on allow other network users control or disable the shared internet connection, but it's up to you. I'm going to click on it just for the heck of it. Um, then you're going to go to settings, and there you have to choose every service that's there. By default, they're unchecked, uh, but if you don't share these services, you won't be able to surf the internet or you know check your mail and so on. So I'm just going to cho choose them all. It's up to you which ones you choose or what you want to share. Uh, I guess it's uh, on a personal basis, but uh, I'm doing them all. So, and if there's one there that you don't that you need that isn't uh, shown, you can also add one. But I'm not going to go into that. Just click on Add here, and you'll get that option. Okay, click OK, and OK again. Okay, so now your internet sharing, if you can see, it's uh, your wireless network connection says shared. Okay, so. Um, next thing you need to do, and I'll show you this, uh, right click your local area connection, go to properties, then again TCP IP, and you'll notice that, that it now has an IP address. Now that's standard when you, when you put uh, network sharing there, then you hit OK, and uh, the, at this point what you're going to do is plug in your LAN cable, which is already connected to your router. I'll show you that in the next part of the video. So I'm going to plug it in. And as you can see, it says enabled, identifying, blah, blah, blah. And at this point, I'm going to switch over to the real world and show you how this works. Now, what you've done by doing this is created a, a Windows 7 router. Uh, internet connection sharing will give out more than one IP address, which is beautiful. So next, I'll show you the uh, real world application to this. Okay, here we have... Uh, the setup, uh, as you can see, this is my ICS internet connection sharing computer, and all these four laptops are hooked up through this switch to this uh, internet connection sharing uh, computer. 
uh, using a LAN cable and they're all interconnected to this switch using LAN cables as well. None of them are wireless, but they all every single one of these laptops, uh, including the ICS laptop, can browse the internet. So let's uh, open up the internet on that computer. There we go. And as you can see, I have a speed test up. So let's just do a speed test on uh, the ICS computer. And as you can see, I'm getting a good 15 megabits per second, which is about the speed that I have uh, normally on wireless. Now, granted, none of these computers, none of the uh, client computers are actually running anything at this point. So uh, what I'm going to do next is run another speed test on a client computer and see what we get on that. As you can see, 1593 and 107 uh, upload speed. So pretty good. Okay, I'm going to do it on this one now. Uh, I'm using uh, speed, speed Test. Uh, it's on Speakeasy. It's a Speakeasy test. Yeah, a little slower, but still in the 15 range. Okay, so as you can see, it's sharing the internet pretty well. Uh, you know, across the uh, LAN cable, no problem at all. Uh, so there's my upload speed is 1581, which is just a slight bit slower than the uh, other uh, ICS original host computer. And there I got 1.07 uh, upload speed, which is exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a test on all, all four of them and see what kind of perform performance I get uh, on every one of them. Uh, we'll go back to the original, which is that one. Okay, and uh, we'll do the test again on all of them. So I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. Okay, they're all testing right now. Okay, and as you can see, that you know, sharing that connection out does take a hit on the individual bandwidth on each computer. Um, some are a little better than others, probably because I started one first and then the next and then the next. I can't actually simultaneously start them all, but uh, on average I'm getting about 5 megabits per second on each computer, which is not bad considering uh, that I have three computers running, or sorry, four computers running the test. Oh, sorry. I'm going to have to do that one more time. To get a true test, I didn't get all of them to go at the same time. But the first one is obviously going to be the fastest one as it's going to get the quickest throughput. I did this computer last. Okay, so all the tests are now done, and I have a range of 6 megabits per second, 4.9 megabits per second uh, download speed, and let's give me a second here, uh, on the first one I started 10, and on the ICS computer 8.2. So, as you can tell, it will degrade your internet speed all the way across if all of you are downloading something at the same time, but still pretty good. Uh, and a pretty good solution if you need a cheap router uh, uh, solution on, uh, you know, quickly. Uh, all you need is a switch, the LAN cables, uh, computer running Windows uh, 7, and uh, internet connection sharing enabled on that uh, uh, computer with all the LAN cables connected. And you will have uh, internet connection for all four computers, including the ICS computer. And... Uh, Pretty cheap way of uh, sharing out a wireless connection amongst uh, several computers. Okay, so if you're in a pinch somewhere and you need a wireless uh, network or wireless internet or internet access to a small network, this is a good way to go.